Bosch EDC 16 ECU is very common in the diesel tuning world. And for us, this comes fitted to the 1.6 HDI, the 1.6 TDCI, and it also comes in the Volvos and even on the minis. So we used to spend quite a lot of time opening up the ECUs, taking the lids off and programming with BDM 100. Um, and nowadays we have a much faster way of doing this, which is with Combi Loader. So Combi Loader is a module based tool and you are able to buy only the modules you need for a particular family of ECUs. So for this example, we're going to be using the EDC 16 BSM module and that's bench service mode. That means you can program the ECU without needing to open the lid using K-Line and the GPT pins. Very useful module. And there's also a module that does the same for the EDC 17. And generally these are from 2010 to around 2016, 2017, depending on the vehicle. Just as an example, here are some of the modules that are available for Combi Loader. And you should see sometime soon. Yeah, they also have a EDC 17 and SID 807 module for Peugeot Citroen, which is very useful. Um, and the module we are using today is Bosch EDC 16 BSM and Bosch ME9 BSM. Okay, so what do we need to do this job? The first is the dial link cable, and this comes from SMS software. This is basically just an OBD connector. This is the combi, leader, combi loader USB host. This needs to be connected to use combi loader, and this is the security dongle that holds your license. This box here is not actually produced by Combi Loader, although it has a name that would suggest it was. Um, but I could confirm it has good support. I've been in touch with the manufacturer before and they were very helpful. So the first step, we need to connect our ECU. Here, I have pre-wired into the Combi Loader cable. We get a lot of these ECUs in, and this just saves a lot of time for us. So what do we have here? We are programming through K-Line, not through CAN. And there are two GPT pins in here. This basically puts the ECU into a bench service mode. So move that over here. Connect to the front of the combi box. So one of the problems with Combi Loader is that it needs free USB connections, which can be a bit of a pain sometimes. So this goes into the back of the box. And then we have another USB for the dial link cable. Of course, we need our dongle. If you want to know how this is pinned out, you can see on the screen here. And on this website here, there are most of the pinouts that are available. If you ever get stuck with this, you can contact the guys that make the tool and they usually help you to find the correct pinout. Okay, the next step is to open the Combi Loader software. You need to connect 12 volt power to the Combi box I'm using. And then we set power mode to auto. This switch here. Um, the GPT control, there can be 5 volt GPT or 12 volt GPT. Um, 
it depends on the ECU model. And if it doesn't work on one, flick it the other way. And usually it will work on the other settings. So this software is very easy to use. It looks a bit basic, but it has everything you need in there. So for this ECU, we only have external flash memory. We don't have internal processor memory. So we're going to set the option here to ext flash. We're going to take common action. What does that do? That reads or writes the flash and the EEPROM at the same time. And you can see here, everything says not loaded. That's because we haven't read or opened any files yet. If you were to open a file into the flash, it would come up here. And if you were an EEPROM and you open the file, it would come up here. You can ID the ECU by clicking on this tab. So power is on, auto, ECU identification. And you can see driver load in and our memories are identified here. That's good, that means you have the right connection to the ECU. So we're now going to flash read, very simple. So the driver is loading, and now we are reading the flash. So operation successfully completed. Okay, this step is important. You need to hold shift as you press the save button. If you don't do this, your files will be combined and in an encrypted format which is not that useful unless you're using the software provided by this company. File successfully saved. Okay, we can turn the power off, disconnect it there. Okay, so we are ready to export our remap software. We fix the checksums when we export this. And we don't need to do anything to the EEPROM because that is not where the performance maps are stored. That is where the configuration and the mobilizer data is saved. Our remap software is ready and we are now able to program that back onto the ECU. So we have our combi box plugged in. We have power set to auto. We now need to open the remap software. And we're programming the external flash. We can untick the box for common action because we do not need to program the EEPROM this time. So a little trick, you must press Control, Alt and B as you hit the right button. This ensures that the full flash is programmed and not only the map area. So you can see it's erasing the flash, writing the changes. It doesn't take very long and within less than a minute, I think, we should be fully programmed. So you can see this is actually a very easy tool to use and compared to opening an ECU and programming with BDM100 or KTAG, it's a lot, it's not only faster and easier, it's just as reliable. If anything, it's more reliable because there's no risk of damaging the ECU when you open it. And there you are, that's finished.